e-learning with NUT Endo Mother Science School. The subject I have for you today is basic science. Topic reproduction in plants. Topic reproduction in plants. That's Objectives of the lesson. Objectives of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to A. Identify parts of a flower. Identify parts of a flower. B. Draw a flower showing the parts. Draw a flower showing the parts. Angels, can you identify this beautiful flowers or diagrams below? Wow. An average responses. Yes, some say they are called flowers. Good. But they have their names. They have their names. That is, each one has its own name. Each one has its own name. This first one here yeah, is called rose flower. This is a rose flower. What do I say in yours? Rose flower. This second one here. Yeah, it is called tulip flower. This is a tulip flower. This third one is called hibiscus flower. Hibiscus flower. Angel, what do I call this? Hibiscus flower. Parts of a flower. A flower is the part of a plant used for reproduction. A flower is the part of a plant used for reproduction. This makes this flower an important part of the plant. Flowers is very important to plants because it, it is used for reproduction. There are four main parts of a flower. There are four main parts of a flower they are number one sepals sepals number two petals 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 number three stamel 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 number four carpel 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 number one sepals sepals look at this beautiful flower below this greenish this greenish part is called sepa is called sepa this sepa is the outer most part of the flower this sepa this sepa is the outermost part of a flower it covers the pentas Stamels and carpels. It covers the camel. The, it covers the pentas, stamels, and carpels before it open up. Peta. Sepas. Sepas are usually green. Sepas are usually green in color in most plants, but they can also be of another color. Sepas are usually green in color in most plants, but they can also be of other colors. A flower has four or five sepas. A flower has four or five sepas, which are collectively called Callies, 
which are collectively called Kalis. Number two, Heltas. Hel. This beautiful part of a flower below is called is called Heltas. Is called Heltas. Heltas are usually bright in color. Petals are usually bright in color. It attracts insects, man and other animals. It attracts insects, man and other animals. And it has a nice smell. And it has a nice smell which heals pollination. Which hates pollination. And a collection of these petals is called corolla. A collection of these petals is called corolla. Number three, stamina. Everybody, stamina. This picture below is the stamina of a flower and it is the main reproductive part of a flower. The stamina is long. Seen and it bears anther and filament. The stamina is long, thin, and it bears anther and filament. This swelling part is called anther, while this part down here is called filament, and the filament holds the anther. Holds the anther, and this anther contains pollen grains. This anther contains pollen grains, and they are collectively called adrusium. They are collectively called adrusium. Number four, couples, 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 couples are the female reproductive parts of a flower. Carpels are the female reproductive parts of a flower. They are long, thin, tubular, and enlarged structure at the base. Enlarged structure at the base. They are the center of a flower. They are located at the center of a flower. And these three parts make up the carpels. The, these three parts make up the carpels. The parts are stigma, star, ovary. Stigma, star, ovary. And the carpel form the pistil. The carpel form the pistil or Genosium or genosium. Let's look at a complete flower with all the parts. A complete flower with all the parts. As you can see, this is a complete flower with all the parts. I told you that the outer parts, the outer part of a flower is called sepal, sepal, and is green in color. It is green in color. Look at it. It's the outermost part of a flower. It is green. This one, this bright part, this color part, is called petal. It's called petal. It attracts insects, animals, and man. And it is holy nation. The third one we talked about was the stamina. And I told you that stamina consists of the anther and the filament. Look at the anther, the swelling part, and look at the filament. One the last one that we carpel. Carpel and I told you these three parts make up the carpel, the stigma, 
the star and ovary the stigma the star and ovary and the form what we call pistil the carpel form what we call pistil or genusium or genusium you can see look at the structure that i shown to you under the carpel you can see from here like this like this found at the center it's located at the center of our flower this is the carpel that consists of the ovary the star and the stigma while this one down is also a complete flower but not having this component like stamina and the pistol angels ask the question if there is and if there is no question your own work you are to draw a complete flower with all the parts a complete flower with all the parts thank you and enjoy the remaining part of your day goodbye for now